Hey friends, welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Colony Doss and I just got a shipment that I'm super excited to share with you. It's the Kalani's World Rhythms Collection from Tycoon Percussion in cooperation with Hal Leonard. And I'm gonna be showing you each of the instruments as we go through this series, unboxing World Rhythms. Let's look at one of my favorite instruments, the djembe drum. Now the djembe is part of the West African set, one of our favorite accompaniment and solo instruments. Right away, something I want you to notice when you look down here is how thin and round and beautiful this shell is. A lot of cheaper drums will have thick shells. This is beautifully presented, uh, made on a lathe, and it's just gorgeous. Check this out. Look at that wood. This is an authentic drum. Your students are gonna love this. They love the wood, they love the natural tuning setup, which is rope, which is what all the professionals use. All the master djembe players and ensembles all around the world use rope tune drums. Do not be afraid. Uh, you know I'm gonna show you how to tune it in the curriculum, so that's not a problem. We also have our lovely goatskin head, which again is traditional. So take a look from above and you can see the head here with um, the back, the separation here, the backbone, and then you've got your logo on the top. Now this drum just came out of the box, so super, super low, but never fear. I'm gonna crank this up a little bit and be right back. And of course I show you how to tune this in the curriculum, but look how gorgeous this is. And it's light, lighter than a lot of synthetic drums. All right, we'll be right back after I tune this guy up. Okay, we're all back and tuned. Notice I did a whole row around this drum. And then I actually started a third row here and, and then I tied off the rope around the foot of the drum. If you want instructions on how to specifically tune the drum, go to my website, kalanimusic.com and there's a video there on how to tune a djembe. And you can also look for it on World Drum Club uh, but it's really simple. Again, I want to just point your attention to the beauty of this instrument. There's no reason you can't provide beautiful, authentic looking and sounding instruments for your students. And I think it's important so that when they go to middle school, high school and beyond, they're playing instruments that they're used to. They're playing instruments that the quote, the big people play, the professional instruments, they're affordable, they're lightweight, they're just beautiful. and you know, and it's a way to honor the traditions and honor the music, which is something I think we all want to do, no matter what instrument group we're using, whether it's um, ukuleles or uh, orchestral instruments or piano, any of that. We want to go for authenticity uh, and quality at the same time, and we can do that. So here's the head. I'm going to direct your attention to the overhead camera. Now what I'm going to do is hold this in the traditional manner. I don't need a stand to play the djembe. In fact, we didn't make a djembe stand specifically because we want the students and you to hold the drum in the traditional way, which is just to place it on the floor and tip it forward a little bit, hold it between your legs. That's all you have to do. If you have students that are having trouble with that, you can put a strap on the drum and sit on the strap and that will keep it from falling forward. But you really don't need to place, place djembes in stands. Um, so here it is, here's the drum. Beautiful bass tone. Nice, tight, dry, open tone. And a beautiful slap tone. I'm playing it kind of soft because I don't want to blow my microphone out up here. That's the World Rhythms djembe uh, made by Tycoon Percussion. And you'll get these in your set in the West African instrument section of the World Rhythms instrument kit.